this where the camera's been for three years? <laughs> Guess so. Oh, shoot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. It's been so long. You want to, like, tell the story of, like, you know, we moved. Yeah, so, 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 yes, yeah. Maybe we should have wrote, like, a... <sighs> no, 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 then you got to pay for, like, pre-production meetings. We lived in that bus. We were filming videos of, of... Cool. She is. <laughs> you just get, like, curveballs thrown at you, and I think that we have decided to just kind of go with whatever life gives us rather than fighting against the the current and fighting against the tide uh, just kind of roll with it and that seems to make life a little bit easier we were living in the bus we started discussing buying some land oh. with my grandmother she didn't know something. what we were discussing <laughs> I'm like, what we started discussing uh, children we've had a lot of discussing we're gonna, we we yeah we're good discussers so we we had started discussing um, buying some land from my grandmother and people are gonna be like wow you've really dulled out over the years I'm really dull <laughs> <laughs> I'm really run down <laughs> this is what life will do to you no 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 I'm just not used to a camera in front of me it's been a few years we started talking with my grandma about purchasing some land uh, from the farm that we that I grew up on which is where we're actually currently at. But don't, let's not get ahead of ourselves. The, yeah, we still got three years of stories to <laughs> we tell. We still have three years of stories <laughs> that we have to fill you in on. So, um, yeah, that was going well. And uh, my, my grandma agreed to sell us some land. Um, and then she had been battling some sickness, some autoimmune issues. And, you know, over, over, maybe the course of a year that we had been discussing the property and about kind of the time that the videos kind of took a stop was when she got really sick and um, went downhill quick. So grandma passed in 2015 and <clears throat> um, we were going to be getting some land from uh, the farm and so we decided to kind of move forward with that even though it hadn't been finalized and we put in this landing and a driveway and we got power and water here and decided to kind of just run full speed ahead and we moved the bus up here in spring the excitement of all the things going on and you know we had to like there was a few parts where the bus was like cockeyed and you know it was like nerve-wracking because it's my home and so you know I got a little confused on what was recording and when it was off and I was recording when it was off and a lot of shots of gravel yeah and, and so it was just a pretty much a disappointment <laughs> you know what wasn't disappointing is that the bus made it here in one piece into the spot that we had put like perfectly um so my uncle said uh this better be the last time no, he said, this is the last time I will be towing your bus. If it's going to move again, it needs to run and it needs to drive. And I didn't really fill him in on all the details when he hooked up to the bus. Um, so he, he, he actually, because the landing that the bus was sitting on was so tight, he had to kind of winch the bus and kind of pivot the bus around and just kind of drag it. Um, and that was, that was interesting. Should we have an engineer stamp this? The engineer stamp? Nope! Okay, how many more times do you want to tow this bus? Well, we, we can probably do it a couple more times. I don't know how big your pocketbook is. <laughs> it does winch on it. Okay, Val. Say bye to the bus. What do you mean bye to the bus? They're gonna the, they're uh, gonna roll it onto Jason's truck. Oh. What do we have like for brakes? Oh yeah. <laughs> Let me make sure it's in gear, maybe. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and it starts how it began.
hooked up to it, go down the hill. And then once we hit this driveway with essentially a huge switchback and a lot of <laughs> very tight turns, <laughs> uh, he, he said I didn't fill him in on the details of this driveway. And he was kind of like, what? What is going on here? This is going to be difficult. And so we just detached at the top of the hill and then we just coasted it on down and then pushed her with the tractor a little bit. Um, but the bus is here. And it was safe. And I recorded it wrong. <laughs> you recorded it wrong. We spent that first year, uh, what, trying to finalize water? Have water, power, I mean, uh-oh. Quiet! We'll get to that part of the story later. <laughs> Yay! And kind of just trying to make it home because we kind of moved into a hay field. Then we started working on this greenhouse over here. Want to say anything about the greenhouse? It's a big greenhouse. It's a big greenhouse. Val Val helped uh, with with the hoop bending. We bent all the hoops up. Oh, I did help with that. Top the trampoline. rail. If anyone was interested in that, maybe we could probably make a video about the greenhouse. But it, it's 20 by 100, and um, still needs to be completed. I like to do that. I like I like projects. But it's up. And it works. Yeah, as long as soon as it was up, it was like, well, I think my job here is done. I don't need a door <laughs> on it, or I don't need, no, it needs it needs to be completed. We're gonna put power in there this year. Then winter hit, and it was kind of like, well, it's cold up here. It's cold, and <laughs> uh, we need like wood, and we need to cuddle. Like winter, we, we <laughs> <laughs> and we need to cuddle. We need winter prep. And my boots were frozen to the floor. When I went to go put them on, they were like <laughs> So, uh, yeah, no, it's very cold. Just cut that out. No. We're just gonna cut that all just out. Cut that out. Um, as winter, it kind of hit, we decided that we needed to get some livestock. <laughs> right? Yep. And we go to Yakima and we bought a bunch of goats. And by a bunch, it was only like 16 or yeah, I think we had 18 altogether. So we brought those goats back and um, immediately let them procreate and uh, multiply. And then uh, over the course of three months this spring, we have now all these goat children, kids, babies. Um, you know what else we're forgetting? We bought another bus. When did we buy that bus? Um. Was it for your birthday? Was that your birthday present? Yeah. It I think wasn't it was her around birthday. April. It wasn't her birthday present. Um, and it has the international. I thought you were say it has the internet. I'm like, it does. This new bus has the internet. <laughs> all of the internet. Wi Fi. They cramped all of the internet inside this bus before they sold it at auction, so. <laughs> we bought that primarily for the running gear to put it in this. Yes. Into this bus. Yes. So we bought it because it was an opportunity and we're just going with it even we're though... We're opportunistic people. We're opportunistic people. <laughs> even though this isn't number one priority right now, getting this running, because we can live in it and we now have a farm, this is still a dream to have this bus go down the road. Just not right now. And not the last two years. Sorry, we haven't been putting out any kind of updates. It's, um, you get up in the morning and you want to just get stuff done, and I think we need to change that. We've gone to quite a few festivals. Oh, yes, yeah. so we we kind of forgot that. All last summer, we spent festivaling. <laughs> I mean, the prep for Burning Man alone was like, like two weeks. <laughs> it was worth it. It was worth it. I didn't get to go because I didn't have a ticket. I decided to go to Canada in, in, instead and, and go visit the immigration officers who wanted to know if I had any dust relief material in my vehicle. I... I... <laughs> I didn't think people were smuggling cannabis into Canada. Okay, unwrap it. <laughs> What, the gas can? No, you're present. It's in that giant crate. It's in that big crate. Pillows! 
<laughs> Pillows, wow, that's what I needed. Okay, William, tell him what the glass is for. You know what the glass is for? <laughs> What's the glass for? You can't tell? Yeah, it's, just, for, it's oh. for that truck oh. there. Yeah. That one's a 59. Well, I think we got it here in one piece, maybe. So that's what's been going um, on. So Bryce built the awesome goat trailer as well when we got the goats. Mm, the goat trailer. We pulled out this, him, Bryce, and his dad pulled out this flatbed trailer thing that was, that survived the fire of the barn, correct? I think this trailer has lived on the property an awfully long time. And yes, so, it went through the fire. So then we've repur or Bryce repurposed it into an awesome goat trailer that has these awesome amoeba? Amoeba windows? Amoeba? 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 Amoeba, 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 amoeba windows. Yeah, it's a new TM. They're called amoeba windows. And it's whatever kind of curvature design you have in your mind. With you little just, dots around it. Just kind of do that. And then you just grab the hole saws or the paddle bits. And you just start making holes all over it. And then that's a window. And it's an amoeba window. The light comes through and the goats feel more at home. Yeah, and it has a sunroof and everything. We'll give a tour oh, of yes, that. Oh, yes. We have a sunroof on the goat trailer. And this trailer's mobile. Yeah. That's why it's on a trailer. There's been some sketchy scenes with this trailer. It's a little top heavy, because uh, a little wide too, but you know, this trailer's mobile and uh, we can we can drag it anywhere around the farm. Well. And we're gonna make more of them. Yes. Oh yeah, there's no pin, it's just a piece of rebar I found. Go fast? Yeah. Just roll her down. Oh my god, it sounds sketchy. Is it gonna roll on me? 20% chance it'll roll. Real unstable. I don't think I should go fast. Perfect. What's the name of the farm? Willow Woman. Willow Woman. It fits all the name criteria that we had in mind. Willow. Willow And woman. the first goat that was, well, I mean the first healthy goat, we'll say that, yeah? The first healthy goat, yeah. Her name's Willow. Yeah, she was she actually She jumps goat. up on your back and she'll cuddle you. She's a pretty good goat. More videos. Like, we're going to actually start making more videos. Like, at least try to do two a month. Ooh, two a month. That's going to be good. Yes, let's start, let's start, let's... Let's commit to making two videos per month, and if we don't do that, something bad has to happen. Because no, 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 no. Everything's no, no, motivated no, 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 by no. stress. No, yes, no, yeah. No. So if there's, there has to be some kind of uh, motivator there. You get bare butt spankings in front of live TV. Okay, if we don't make <laughs> two videos per month, I have to live you get stream. You get I have to live stream you get my own flogged. vlogging. <laughs> yes. Okay. I don't know if that's a commitment that I'm willing to make. You sit here and you give us the tour. Okay. Hey, what do we got? The bus. <laughs> okay, and then we're going we're going this direction. Now what? Uh this is Shaky Town over here okay, where Bryce does town. his pull-ups and all of those things. Hold on, slow down, slow I'm down. Shaky Town right now. Okay. So there's Shaky Town. That's so gonna do a pull-up? So do a yeah, pull -up go do Shaky a town. couple pull-ups. This right here, handmade. No, she you. I didn't buy this on Amazon. Holy, you got one of them. It's a little bit wide for dips. Um, and then we're over here to the goats. There's a mom and a baby. We were confused about her because she's got a billy beard and you know, she's a... Yeah, normal yep. for her to have a billy beard. Yeah, um, okay. and then there's the amazing trailer that B Bryce built that has the amoeba windows. We'll get a close up of the amoeba windows. Okay, we're, st we're still going. Um, and then around, there's our big open field shooting range. We have our orchard up there. I don't know how they, that's orchard with like how many trees we have? 150? Uh, yeah, there's a lot. About 150 tree starts. Yeah, and the food forest. Yeah, food forest. Um, then we have our greenhouse here. That big old fatty greenhouse. We got the greenhouse. And look, the end needs to be done. That's my job. Okay. Um, and then as you keep coming around, you'll see our um, cramp bark plant here. The 
cramp bark. Did you get the cramp bark? There's the cramp bark. Yeah. Okay. And then we have some um, alpine strawberries growing okay. there too. Alpine strawberries. Uh, and then some bamboo. Oh yes. Timber bamboo. I should yep. release that. And then we have the... The, the sauna stove. The, yeah. The yeah. The bus is still here. We still live in it. We're going to get it done. We're going to go down the road. That's our, that's our life goal. Well, with the kid, when we have kids, we want to be able to take our kids on family vacations in Phyllis. And the other bus is like hope to make that happen. Just a jungle. It's one of the nicer, more tranquil parts of the property. Mm -hmm. right? Yep. And well, uh, watch the, the watch the sinkhole. Oh, it filled up because the water must have ran through. So we're gonna show you guys the sauna on the property. Well, the huh? vision for the sauna. No, 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 no. It's already here. Oh, okay. It's already here. Here it is. Go sit in the sauna right now. Uh oh. How do we get to the sauna? There it is. Big old. Giant sound a tree. Pretty waterlogged. So, with any luck, we'll cut this tree up. In the next few weeks, we'll make a video and we'll make a sauna right here where this tree. That's gonna fell. be our next video, of the sauna. Might not be the next one. But <laughs> You're gonna... making it sound like next week we'll be cutting this up next for the week, sauna. I'm, well, next, I've just been waiting on building stuff because I wanted to record it, but I couldn't record it because I, I people were like, "Where's the bus?" Right. Well, it's here well, now. Now it's more of a farm and land situation. Look at that grandpa waiting right at the fence line for me. <laughs> And the llama, and the llama, and the billy, and I know, I know, I know, people are going to say, well, if you don't want any more goat babies, you shouldn't have the billy in there. Well, I know, we're going to have more goat babies. This is Harvey. This is Harvey. He's my birthday goat. He is, whoa, Harv, you got to slow down, buddy. You're getting kind of hefty, Harv. Say hi to the people. Say hi to the people. Hi, Grandpa. Grandpa, you're so handsome. You... Hi. Come Big old here. ugly ambulance slayer. The part that needs to be done and finalized. So, now that I got a camera rolling, I have to get it done. And this is just all leftover. Plastic because when you when I built a hundred foot long greenhouse, I figured well I should probably make it like four feet shy, ninety six foot greenhouse, because they're only going to give you a hundred feet of film. And then I thought oh no this is the only high tunnel I've seen on a hill, so you kind of have this thing going on with your greenhouse, <laughs> right? You got level walls, you got a sloped greenhouse. So I thought, oh, no, I'm going to be really short. Well, I cut open the plastic, and it's like they give you 130 feet. So this is just the extra that we'll trim off when this wall's done. Interesting? Is it interesting? Does it seem interesting, Val? Are you interested? Oh, um, yeah, very. Well, here's the gator. It's just parked in here, but let's bring the camera up. Stove. We have a stove here. Yeah, look at that. You're really getting in there. Oh, do you want me to open it? You gotta... Uh, yeah. So that stove will be a greenhouse stove, and then we'll have propane backup. And, uh, yeah, the greenhouse. We have some, some, um, some different vegetables and trees up there. Vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> like what kind? Well, we grow, um, lots of okra. Uh-huh. Just... <laughs> Here in the Pacific Northwest, we really like our okra. Lavender. Lavender. I'm just joking about the okra. White Not sage. Really. So, uh, yeah, no. So we've got what? Sea berries. I've got a bunch of sea sea berries that I cloned. Pawpaw. Um, ooh, some pawpaw trees. I got some blueberries up there. Um, what are some of the others? Oh, the autumn olive. 
maybe a little bit invasive, but the autumn olive is a is a beautiful plant. Uh, some kiwis. We got lots of kiwis. Is this boring yet? You're right. Let's step it up. Here, this is our gator that we bought. Trixie. We saved this. Yeah, her name is Trixie. We Trixie is the equivalent of one mortgage payment in the townhome. That thing was fifteen hundred bucks. I think Trixie was sixteen hundred dollars. Wow, well, she's worth it. Oh man, five wheel. Now you're wondering, why does he have a screwdriver? Well, I broke the key off in Trixie. And then Trixie also seized up, so the motor's no good in Trixie, really. But she runs, and we're going to put a new motor in her. So we're going to start up Trixie and go check out the bus, the new bus. Can I give her a little, a little choke? She's really, really tired. It's not very cold out. Uh, oh, yeah, that's our ditch witch. I mean, why rent one when you can just buy one? That was another mortgage payment. Look at this. You can give your mortgage payments to the bank or you can actually like have something forever. Through the food forest. What do you think? Yeah. Food forest. Uh-huh. Now, it may look like we haven't maintained the food forest very well, but this is like three weeks of growth. Project. Over here we got our shed project. Uh huh. There's a truck I got from my grandpa. Yeah. Old Henry. Maybe. I don't know. The old farm truck. I haven't got his name yet. We need to get the name. Where are we going? We're going to the bus to start the bus. This bus, Bill? The other bus. Woo! Right there, Where are we riding, Tracy? Yes. So we go, hey, well, where's your garage space? Well, it's a monkey hut that uh, was adapted from a festival. It's a monkey hut and a uh, Harbor Freight tent structure. Both kind of completely, let's turn this off real quick. She's warm. Yeah, I'm getting some hard vibration. Get some hard vibration. Okay. See, I could use a little more organizations. So we got the battery, just charged it, fresh charge. Tools, because we may have to do like a, may have to do a fecal swap with the bus to get started. Yeah, a fecal transplant, that's what they call it. I don't want to do that. If the microbiome isn't up to par, we have to fecally transplant um, good crud and uh, residual buildup from some other bus and stick it in that bus in order to get it to start. You're getting really weird, man. Thought I had too many keys already. Okay. Put old Trixie. Why do we call her Trixie, Val? Because everyone gets a ride. A free ride. Everyone gets a ride. Everyone gets to ride on Trixie. Give it a Whoa. Oh. Whoa. a little rough there. Huh. I forgot to let you guys know she also has a starter issue. But I bought a starter. But why put it in if I'm going to replace the motor? school bus support vehicle here. Look at this. This thing even passed the 20... This has a 2015 inspection sticker on it. You guys are probably going to go, wow, that's a nice bus. We didn't really expect that out of you. Well, why is the battery not in it? Well, because we took it to a festival. These vehicles... Right. Uh, red's ground? Right? No. What is, what? Black is ground. Righty-tighty? Are you sure? Black's ground? 
threads of power. Part of I short out the terminals with this thing here? No. Take the nut to the tools rather than the tools to the nut. That's a life philosophy. Oh, must be a 14. It's going to talk about how you rode this bus when you were a child. Oh, ho, 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 yes. Bus number 50 was a bus that I rode when I was a child. Exactly what Val just said. Mm -hmm. Not a lie. He, she ain't lying. Um, sorry, I stole that from the barber shop. I started attending... I started attending a barber shop appointment uh, once every two months a few years ago, about a year and a half ago, uh, when I needed to cut my hair because I was mistaken for a homeless gentleman um, far too often. Oh no. This sounds like trouble. What's there? Uh... <laughs> Does that thing run on Gatorade? Yeah. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, you too. Thank you. See ya. This is all work. Yeah, this is hard work. This is hard work. Oh no, which one's the bus key? I forgot about it. So it's been open and now. What do you think? Is it? Can you see? Ride your bus. If you'd like to ride my bus, is yes mean yes? Yes means yes. <laughs> Or is this one of those yes means no situations? I'm not that kind. I'm sorry. I'm this, not that kind of girl. This is completely inappropriate. So look at this bus we got here. It smells like sweaty a school cat. It smells kind of like, oh yeah, so we got the key here. And there may be people watching that go, hey, I recognize that bus too. Oh, bus 50. You know, everyone's probably thinking, oh my God, it's going to blow up. Yeah, probably, because I think maybe the doors get left undone and... Like this one right here, doesn't look like it. I don't really want to listen to that, so this needs to actually be closed. There we go! Let's try her again. There's going to still be a buzzer, just not as many of them. Yeah! Oh! Do you hear that? That's what Phyllis is going to sound like. is it only takes 30 quarts of oil. I really wish I could turn that buzzers off. Transmission's done. It's working? Yeah. What are you doing? Just moving her a little bit. Why? Okay, well, that's on my list of things to do. Cut that buzzer out. Um, yeah, do you like it here? Is, this is our field. We're gonna build our house over there by that one single tree. But somehow over the last four years, five years, four or five years, we've had this transition like into what I visualized life would be. And I think maybe you visualize life would be... Just maybe on a little bit of a... I mean, I love what we have and what we've been given, but I think my visualizations was on like a much smaller grade of mm. things. I'm just being honest. Smaller as far as the farm? Yeah, as far as the property, as far as like, you know, just a little cottage with a little garden. Mm. And now we have this huge, you know, and I'm grateful for all of it. It's, we have our own a, it's a lot of work. Yeah, it's a lot of work and it it's work. fun and I like it and it's teaching me a lot and I'm growing as a person. So if I would have just had what I visualized, I would have had no expansion beyond myself. So this is good for me. That was really well put. I thought someone was calling you. Phone call. I could go put the cookies in. I I imagine in your private life uh, if you decided that uh, I'm not going to pay my mortgage for a month or two. Uh, first of all, you're not saving money by not paying your mortgage. You're just a dead, dead, dead. You're just a deadbeat. One well, man had much money, one man had not enough to eat. One man he lived like a king while the other begged on the street and on the go. Far away. Deadbeat. Deadbeat. Like that don't happen no more. And you can end.
anticipate that will hurt your credit.